mums, welcome to Mumspiration episode number two. So we're in halfway, about 10 days of lockdown and we're taking this one day at a time still. Many of you have been getting into your routines as hard as it was in the beginning, managing children, work, home. It's been quite an adjustment with family being in the same space all day. I don't know about you. Um, so I'm sharing one of my tools to get through lockdown isolation. It's, it's helped me so far um, and that's giving myself time and space every single day. My little ritual is writing a page of what I'm grateful for and setting my intention for that day. And then I create a small piece of artwork, I hang it up and followed by some body stretching and movement and this sets the calming tone for the day. I'm sure you'll have your own practices, rituals and creative things that you like to do. It might be to enjoy a cup of tea in your favorite mug in silence or reading a few pages of a book or a magazine uninterrupted. Remember mum, it's you first. Self-love, self-health, self-care. You're the one that keeps it together. So I'd like to share with you a part of a song that gives me hope for better days but also to make the best of today. benefits to feeding your cat pamper wet cat food with higher protein from fresh meat and lower carbs than dry food together with balanced minerals and extra moisture pamper wet makes it easier to maintain an ideal weight and helps to support urinary health plus it's available in a variety of delicious tastes and textures that even the pickiest eaters will love choose pamper south africa's leading wet cat food brand brand power helping you buy better Hello moms, welcome to the second episode of the Momspiration virtual series. My name is Maria Padime, I'm a business and leadership coach, medical doctor and mom. Let me ask you a question, what are you paying attention to? I don't mean this very second because I know right now you're devoting your undivided attention to this video. What I mean is the rest of the time, while we're in lockdown and we're all confined to our homes, what are you paying attention to? Now I ask this question because there is so much going on in our world right now and so much of it we have absolutely no control over. Having said that, the one thing that we do have control over is our attention. So what are you paying attention to? As I'm sure you've experienced over the last couple of days and weeks, our attention has been pulled in so many different directions. Social media, news channels, WhatsApp groups, 
we're being called by all of these platforms and all of them carry information that has the potential to overwhelm us even further. So it's vitally important, especially at this time, that we control and manage our attention. So how do you do that? How do you manage your attention? How do you control your attention? Well, ask yourself this question. Is it adding value? So is this platform, this WhatsApp group, this news channel, is it contributing to my well-being and the well-being of the people I love? And if after, after asking yourself that question, the answer that comes back is, mm, no, it's not really adding value, then the wise thing to do is to withdraw your attention from it. Now more than ever, it is vitally important for all of us that we reclaim our attention and we really safeguard our energy so that we can really focus on the things and the people that matter most to us. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>
here's a simple and effective homemade spray um, that I'd like to share with you that you can use to do this. This spray can be used on your groceries when you bring them home from the shops, on food packaging when you arrive home, also on your car steering wheel, your wallet, your handbag, and even your hands, and it's so easy to make. This is the recipe. Just dilute 15 milliliters, that's three teaspoons of regular bleach into 500 milliliters of water, that's two cups. You just stick that into an empty spray can, spray bottle, here's mine, and Bob's your uncle. This solution assumes you're using a 5% bleach concentrate. If not, you'll need to adjust accordingly. And my last tip, after spraying, don't be too quick to wipe it away. Allow at least one minute for the bleach to do its work before wiping it off, or you can just let it air dry. Store your spray bottle away from direct sunlight and it should last for up to a month. And this can be used in place of alcohol or germicide sanitizers in accordance with international best practice. Okay, moms, that's it from me. I have to go wash my hands and spray down some more surfaces. Elbow high fives, until next time. If your child is not growing well, she may not be eating well and can become sickly. That's why Pediasure has 26 key nutrients to help support height, weight and immunity. Start to see visible growth in eight weeks. Pediasure, for growth you can be sure of. Hello mums and welcome to episode 2. Today I'd like to chat about budgeting and how we adjust our budget to suit the circumstances in which we find ourselves. In many cases a lot of people don't actually budget. Some do but in many many cases people don't. They earn their money, their money goes in and they spend it and they're not quite sure what happens in between those two points, money coming in and money going out. Budgeting is such a crucial tool when it comes to managing your money, even more so in times like this where maybe there's less money coming in or you're finding yourself having to spend money on things you hadn't anticipated. Generally though, you are probably spending less money during lockdown because simply a lot of the activities that we used to do and we spent money on, we simply can't do anymore. Things like going shopping, um, maybe going out to eat, other forms of entertainment, those expenses don't exist. So when it comes to your budget, you need to adjust your expenses. And often we also get muddled between wants and needs. You know, we there are certain things that we need in life and those needs need to be taken care of first and foremost. Needs include things like roof over your head, uh, food, children's education, transport, clothing, and so on. Those are needs, we have to have them. Things become muddied when we confuse those with wants. And wants include things like as a, you know, just a car, as opposed to you want a fancy car, you want the designer car, you want designer clothing, you want to have everything a step up. Those are what we classify as wants and not necessarily needs. So during these times that we're in at the moment, and particularly in a lockdown situation, our focus is all on really the basics, the basic food, accommodation, and so on, shelter, safety. So we have quite a bare bones budget. There may still be other things that you're spending money on and that needs to be listed in your budget but you can see that there will be a lot of things that you actually are saving money on as i say those not being able to go out a lot of that entertainment also many instances we may find that you draw money you know how often haven't you drawn perhaps 500 rand and when you look again the money's gone you're not sure where it's gone what what you've done with it that money that we are saving and it's that's one of the advantages of course of the situation we're in is that it is cheaper we're saving money you're also saving money on petrol you know if you're not driving to work you're not spending money on petrol that money that you're saving you need to set aside don't keep it and think you can spend it as soon as you're allowed to keep it aside because we don't actually know what tomorrow holds so if you haven't had got an emergency fund if you haven't started one use that money to start an emergency fund also use this time to learn about yourself. You know, what are your triggers for spending money? Look at life, life can be simpler and perhaps the other ways of relieving stress, for instance, other than going to a shopping mall on a Saturday. Stay safe until we chat again. Thank you. <laughs> 
Hello, Dr. Daycare. The new range of Dr. Daycare syrup has been specifically formulated for kids as a tasty, tooth-friendly syrup. Feeling better has never tasted so good. Hi there, mummies. My name is Dilnu Komoswete, and I hereby welcome you to the second episode of Sanitization of the Mind with Nuku Muswete. You know what they say? They say you must always look on the bright side of life and they say everything has a posi positive and a negative side. So me, I decided to focus on the bright side of life. I decided to look on the bright side of this lockdown and I discovered that, you know what? At least you can do the things that you wanted to do before the lockdown and you did not have enough time to do them. You know, things like exfoliating. You know, things like sleeping until 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, things like not having to make lunchbox for your kids in the morning. You know, things like not having to shout and scream for people to wake up in the morning because they keep on snoozing their alarms forever and ever. It feels so good. But there's one thing that I'm worried about. I have a concern, mummies, and I'm concerned about how... It's like people are treating this lockdown like some sort of a festive season. You know, people are eating. People are... I'm not saying people must not eat. People must eat, but I think they must eat the same way they were eating even before the lockdown. The lockdown. You know, my neighbors were drying yesterday. On a Monday afternoon, they decided to bry like a whole lamb, guys. Have you forgotten that there is still life after the lockdown and you know what happens when you spend 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 without planning think of what happens every january we call it january because you've been spending everything in december going everywhere traveling giving people money acting like you are father christmas blessing people here and there hey, buying people drinks because you know what you got your bonus and then january when it comes Jan, you start to worry and then you ask for loans, you go to your friends, you bother them, you lie and say, hey, what, 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 and then at the same time, there's stationery that needs to be bought and then you still have to pay for transport. Guys, yes, let's use this time to relax, let's use it positively, but let's not forget that after 21 days, we still have to go back to our lives, we still have to eat it's not the end of the world. It is just a lockdown, guys. So another thing that you have to think about when you overeat like that. Mm, no, please don't, don't you dare give me that look when I talk about overeating. This is my natural body, okay? So another thing about when you, you, you don't want to be stuck in the house. After the lockdown, when people go out and celebrate, you don't want to be stuck in the house because you cannot fit on the door. So please, let's relax, but not overeat. Malka San tackled all my issues at the same time and very quickly. My life changed. I became regular. My stomach is much flatter. Once my problems were gone, my confidence just went up. <laughs> there you have it. For better digestive health, try Malka San. Welcome to Mumspiration, episode two of lockdown. My name is Sam Smuts and I'm here with my daughter Kate. And today we're going to give you a few yoga poses to practice at home, just to build some connection and trust and bring some playfulness into your day during this really stressful and unnatural time we find ourselves in. All you need is a non-slip yoga mat or a surface where it's comfortable and you have some space and then you and your child can come together. To, we'll start off with our first posture, which is called seesaw. So we start legs open, your child's legs inside of yours, flexing your feet, holding hands, and sitting as straight as you can. And then as you breathe in, you rock back and out, rock forward. So breathe in and out, feeling a lovely stretch into the backs of the legs. You can keep going until you feel nice and warm and stretched. Taking breaths in and out together. And then our second posture is called L Dog. This one's great to build strength in your core and your arms. 
and it takes a bit of getting used to in practice, but you come from a tabletop into a downward facing dog, and then your child will pre press hands into the ground and place one foot on top and then the other foot on top of your dog and take some breaths together. So breathing in and out. You can even look at one another and stick your tongue out. <laughs> Great, Katie. Okay, jump. Come down. Well done. And then our third posture is called sunbathing on the rock. So mom's going to be the rock into a child's pose, place head down, and then your child will come place their waist in line with yours and dangle their arms at your sides. And this is a lovely one for them to feel an opening through their chest and for you to get a great release into your lower back. And you breathe together here for a few moments. Well done, Katie. Okay, jump off. So, so I hope you enjoy practicing these together and having some fun in these crazy times we're faced with at the moment. Enjoy. Feeling stressed, depressed, or just need better rest? Improve your mood with Emozac, a herbal supplement containing Iranian saffron that delivers results in just 15 days. Hello mums, it's Sharona D, and welcome to episode two. So in episode one, I shared with you that I would love us to together to grow into joy. And I'm not gonna be focusing on joy, but those little inklings that steal our joy, the joy thieves. So joy thief number two is conflict. Conflict is usually seen as such a negative and today we're going to see how we're going to make that into a positive There's no way that you're going to be in a lockdown environment in your home without conflict So I want you to think of this for now outside of your home If you are a woman in business or you are working at an environment Let's take this outside of the house first If you've just had a little bit of a disagreement with a fellow colleague um, something didn't um, get resolved and you leave but you have this disquiet knowing okay there's a bit of ruptions here now and an hour later you walk into let's say the coffee station and that exact colleague is standing speaking to someone else and the moment you walk in they stop speaking and they're like and the first thing in your mind is oh yeah that's right you're busy talking about me no, they stopped talking because you entered the room. They would have stopped speaking if anybody had entered the room. But what has happened was a, an offense was born that wasn't resolved. So picture this. If I take a pair of glasses and every time I see you, I see the offense. So you can take your fingers and almost put these little dirty marks on your glasses. So until I go and I say to you, listen, what you've said to me, it's created an offense. I'm hurt by it. I'm trying to understand a little bit better, but here's a red flag. Um, we need to resolve this thing. We need to have a deep water conversation. Every time you see that person, you're going to be seeing them through these grabby glasses. This filter of offense is going to be there all the time. And sometimes that vision becomes so blurry you can't even remember what the first offense was so back at home glasses on the kitchen table dirty clothes on the floor those are going to create an offense and if you keep letting it just you know get um, one offense on the other on the other and some of them are difficult conversations some of them are things that have been boiling and right now is the perfect environment to have the deep water conversation all the best you can do it for so mom inspiration for today have the deep water conversations not in anger but with a heart to resolve that's my cue i'll see you soon for a 
wide range of pure organic CBD products, choose Rethink CBD. Choose your dosage of scientifically formulated pure CBD isolate in daily oils, capsules, teas and shots for less stress, sleepless nights and discomfort. Rethink CBD is endorsed by the Cannabis Research Institute of South Africa. Choose Rethink CBD.